This might be our biggest European snack haul ever. Yes, hello everyone. Welcome to Food Review UK. My name's MJ. We are back from our Euro trip. We went to France and Belgium and drove like around loads of theme parks. If you want to watch the theme park vlogs and the travel vlogs and stuff and all the fun we got up to, check out Theme Park Life. So there's going to be loads of content on there over the next couple of weeks or whatever. But this is Food Review UK. I've got to go through everything that we bought. Oh my God, here we go. Right, let me spin you around. Right, lighting, please be good to us. I'm just going to go through this in order of like how it's sat on our countertop. So, right, first of all is this place called Donuts Donuts. Now, this was at the City Europe Mall, which is basically this big shopping mall near the Euro Tunnel because we drove over there. Oh, one of them's... One of them's flipped over. Let's flip that back over. So yeah, we got a six pack of donuts and we ate one each on the journey home. So we've got M&M's here. We have got a brownie one. This is marshmallow. And then that one is cafe latte. Uh, yeah, not too bad. Nothing too sensationally special, but they look really nice. And they taste, they, no, to be fair, they do taste good. I had a pistachio one. I'm doing this with one hand because I'm like, skills in that, innit? Yeah, safe. Next up, the lighting is not being good to us, so I appreciate that. Uh, we've got some Haribo lemonade, like pink lemonade sort of mixed sweet bag, so that's cool. Also some cola and lemon, like they look like squashies. In fact, this brand had a literal imitation of squashies, so that was cool. Uh, this is just a candy that we picked up from the hotel. It was in our hotel room. Uh, also, one of our hotel rooms, we got this free gift. It's like a place mat or like a hot dish mat. So that's cool. And also some Clarins items that we also took from the hotel. Uh, from the Carrefour at City Europe, we got cheese twist and some baguette. So we had some of the baguette on the way home as well. Couldn't go to Belgium this time without getting some Belgian waffles. Then we got a lot of crisps in lots of different flavors. So I don't actually know exactly what this flavor is, but this is croaky fan chips and it's Mexicano flavor. Like genuinely, virtually no idea what that is. So if anyone in the comments knows, let me know. Now Starbucks, this is very exciting. In both France and Belgium at the moment, you can get pistachio things. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand. And one of the items you can get is this pistachio square. I might actually have that for my breakfast, to be fair. Pop that back in there. Nice. Right, then some chocolate bars. Right, I've got a, I believe this is a lavender flavor caramel chocolate bar. Looks like a premium brand, so that's really cool. L'Atelier is still going strong in these countries. So we've got hazelnut and biscuits, which sounded really cool. Uh, on the hazelnut theme, I picked up this Poulain, uh, and this is hazelnut and fuletine, so you know those really like small crispy wafers you can get. And then I also picked up what was basically Pina Colada Raffaello bar, so a Raffaello bar with pineapple in, which I thought was interesting. We got some macarons from a chocolate shop, already eaten some of them. Uh, this is my favourite brand of Fritz sauce. Uh, Fritz sauce is basically like a slightly sweeter mayo, almost a buttery, richer tasting mayo. It goes extremely well with fries. And I also picked up a bottle of cheeseburger sauce, or like squeezy cheesy sauce. In fact, I saw a like a nine euro giant, giant bottle of this. Like it must have been that tall. Oh, my hand's not even in frame. That's how tall it was. But I didn't pick that up because, yeah, excessive. Uh, then just like a little pistachio dark chocolate bar, whatever that is. This, I don't know what it is. Uh, we saw BN, we saw normal BN, chocolate BN, we saw hazelnut BN, we saw a, um, like a normal chocolate BN, we saw a dark chocolate BN, and we saw an intense chocolate BN, so I think this is like, well, it says choco au lait, so chocolate and milk, so this is like a milkier version than even just the base chocolate BN, which I thought was middlingly interesting. Then Chio Donuts, peanut and salted caramel flavour. Uh, Vico, we saw a few of this brand, street food, uh, chicken Tex-Mex. We went to the Lint store, so if you follow us on TikTok, you can have a little peek at what we got. Um, but basically just got a load of truffles from the Lint store. Uh, ketchup, chips, crisps, whatever they are. 
Uh, these are bubblegum marshmallows, which is decent. Uh, right, guys, seriously, what is pastis? I know it's a like a, a a spirit, I think, but I have no idea what it is. Other than the fact that this has got like literally a star anise on the packaging, is pastis like a star anise flavour spirit? Is that literally what it is? But I, I saw this and I was like, that is mental. Definitely buying that, even though I don't know what it is. Uh, more croaky, croaky explosions, salt and pepper. We've got Lay's oven baked Mediterranean herbs. We have got Brett's yakitori, maybe chicken. Uh, this is obviously Claire's pickle flavor crisp. Won't be going anywhere near them myself. Brett's Indian curry, ridge crisps. And then another Vico. Uh, this is spicy barbecue street food, so they sound really decent. Right, uh, well, I suppose I'll do these just caramelized, like salted caramel, caramelized cashews. Decent. Right, Royal Bliss. I think this is a tonic or like basically a low calorie soda. It's something like that. They had this in the Coke freestyle machines in Belgium. Um, so this particular one is a grooms and ylang ylang. So I don't know what a grooms is. Is that pink grapefruit? Some, again, someone in the comments let me know if you know what it is. Uh, but I did have a tiny try of Royal Bliss in general from the Coke Freestyle Machines. And it was quite nice. <coughs> then we found K-Wave Coca-Cola. So I haven't found that in the UK yet. So happy to find that. Apparently it's a like a fruity um, Coca-Cola. Maybe bordering on banana. A few, uh, I've heard a few people say. Uh, then Nalu, this is a botanical energy drink, strawberry rhubarb, got another flavour which sounds very interesting, cassis, so black currant and lavender. Then a couple of interesting San Pellegrinos, now this one I have actually had this before, this is merely San Pellegrino uh, Clementine, it's just a fairly rare flavour. And then we've got this sort of blend version which is Clementine and peach. <coughs> Uh, then spa, really like the spa drinks. They primarily do like sparkling waters and stuff. So these are all, I think these are not sparkling actually. I think these are still just flavored waters. So we've got cherry, we've got mojito, we've got passion fizz. Don't even know exactly what it is. We have got watermelon kiwi. I think I've had that one before. And then grenadine. This is like a more higher fruit one. Uh, and then this drink is really good. This is Schweppes uh, mixed citrus basically. Then, lots of violet stuff in these countries. If you check out our Park Asterix vlog, you'll see that we had a violet ice cream one day. First time I had violet ice cream, absolutely loved it. So I got some syrup. I'm, I thought I might do a, a violet coffee, but it might be a bit too weird. Right, then here's some of the dips that we picked up from fast food places. So this one is absolutely awesome. Chili cheese sauce from Burger King. Uh, didn't try any of these, by the way. I have had the KFC original recipe sauce before, and I like this. Uh, just didn't try them, didn't have them with our meals over there. Uh, we've got a sauce creamy deluxe. I'm not exactly sure what that is from McDonald's, but I think it's like a, a deluxe fritz sauce, because they do also do an actual fritz sauce. Although, actually, I think that one's from France, and this one's from Belgium. And then these ones are from France, so these are fritz sauce French. So this is French fritz sauce. And then that's the Belgium, the Bel Belgian one. So there we go. There's some on-ride photos from some of the rides that we went on. So very cute. Very, very cool. Uh, we picked up this pina colada drink thing. Wasn't refrigerated. I, by the way, all of these drinks are going in the fridge after I filmed this video. We got back yesterday and I just couldn't be bothered to film this video because I was too tired. Classic. Uh, right then, croaky, look at the packaging on these, the shiny foil, these are croaky rollers, they look like sort of wheat snacks or something, but we've got some really cool flavours, Mexican taco, and then smoky barbecue, love the looks on both of them. Uh, this was a free gift that we were given at one of the accommodations that we stayed in, just some cheap um, Gillian style uh, pralines. Which I like, Gillian. These, these are all right. These are not mind-blowing. They're a bit sweet. Uh, right, and then, wow. Iced tea in these countries is so big. It's incredible. So there's so many flavors. So uh, raspberry and cherry blossom. 
Watermelon and mint. I have had this one before. In fact, I could tell you, I first had this one uh, when we went to Toverland. So check out our Toverland vlog, which is from several years ago. Uh, Lipton hibiscus uh, with raspberry. We have got Duo. This one I have tried. This one's actually very nice. I'm not usually the biggest fan of peach iced tea, but this is peach and apricot. So an extra flavor. This one I think we've had before. Uh, black tea, orange and cardamom, but I thought I'd pick it up just because it's a, a rare one. I think this one is new, however. This is green tea with blueberry and lavender. Uh, I also picked up, not, not appreciate it's not um, European, it's American, but the Arizona red tea. And then this is an iced tea actually, but this is Aquarius red peach. I think this is Coca-Cola Corporation because this is becoming Powerade soon or Coca-Cola have bought them out because Powerade, that is becoming Powerade soon. Uh, and then last, but by no means least, you would have seen it here lurking at the back. Oh, I'm ruining our photos, good. Um, this is a six pack of sparkling iced tea. This is Claire and I's favorite drink when we go over to Europe. You can get it at like Burger King. Yeah, sorry, you can get it at McDonald's in um, Belgium, probably other places too. Anyway, it's incredible. Sparkling iced tea, I've said this before, I don't know why this isn't in the UK. It's an incredible drink. Right, I'm gonna put all of this stuff away. I'm gonna edit this video, try and get it up today. Uh, and yeah, just uh, do all the rest of the admin associated with coming back from holiday. So thank you very much for watching. Do you want to see reviews for any of these products? Very important that you let me know in the comments. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers.